my god. So as a former Tony winner, I feel like I need to give you some pointers about what you're going to say when we get up there. Okay, I'm fine. You're not going to win. Yes, you are. You are going to win. Hmm? Okay. So when you get up there, you stand up straight, you fake humility, you cry only once when you talk about your dads, and you give all the credit to your incredibly talented director. He's pretty amazing. I think so. He has the best taste in women. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Ladies oh, and gentlemen, you. presenting the award for Best Actress in a Musical, please welcome Broadway's Andrew Reynolds. Come on, Sam. Oh, 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 How many babies do they have? The nominees for Best Actress in a Musical are Maggie Smith in Miss Jean Brody's Second Prime, <laughs> Willow Smith in Cabaret. Anne Hathaway in her one-woman show, Anne, exclamation point. Okay. And Rachel Berry in Jane Austen Sings. <laughs> and the Tony goes to Rachel Berry in Jane Austen Sings. Ah! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's too many people in those two rooms. I don't know who, who's who. Oh my god. Rachel! Okay, I see Kitty. Who's in this room? <laughs> I think we saw Melissa. I don't know. Okay. I think that's who she is. Or it could have been one of the newbies, because I saw Roger come. Might have been Madison. Hey. Thank you. I, um, I, I, I want to thank my amazing husband and director, Jesse, and I want to thank my two dads for all of those singing and dancing lessons. Okay, I want to thank Carmen Thibodeau at Niada for giving me a second chance at my degree, and to all of my friends at McKinley High. Um, but I want to dedicate this award to the person who is responsible for getting me on this stage tonight, and that is Mr. Will Schuster. Um, Mr. Shu always taught to my strengths oh. and not my weaknesses, and he cheered the loudest when I soared, oh, ten and he picked me up when I was in a million pieces. He taught me the one great thing that all teachers do, and there are so many of them out there, and that is oh, you making you special does not make you special. Something is special because you are a part of it. Mr. Shu, I love you so much, and to all of the boys and girls out there, I just want to say quickly before I walk off the stage that... Dreams really do come true, so thank you. Oh, Will. Oh. No, but seriously, course, we have uh, ten minutes left. Calls, remind me to tell what the fuck, guys? Uh, <laughs> the Vice President of the United States. Oh, oh five years. Fantastic. Becky. Becky. It's okay, honey. He's clean. Who is it? Oh, is it Sam? You know, a great big fat person once stood on this stage and told a group of dozen or so nerds in hideous disco outfits that glee, by its very definition, is about opening yourself up to joy. Now, it's no secret that for a long time I thought that was a load of hooey. As far as Who's I can see, the glee club was nothing more than a place Terry? for a bunch of cowardly losers Go to sing their troubles away. Is that true? And delude them. Oh, yeah. Wow. I can't really tell one this one all in the audience. I know I saw Emma. Folks. I'm pretty sure I saw Beast totally and Figgins. And, harsh reality. and of but course, real Bert. Reality, there's not much more to hope for than disappointment, heartbreak, and failure. Okay, they will. That was exactly right. That's exactly what Glee Club is. But I was wrong about the cowardly part. What I finally realize, now that I'm well into my late 30s, it takes oh, Carol's there too. Okay, good. To look around you and see the world not as it is. But Carol's as it like, be. um, excuse me, no. A world where the quarterback is becoming his best friends with the gay kid, and the girl with the big nose ends up on Broadway. Glee is about imagining a world like that and finding the courage to open up your heart and sing about it. That's what the Glee Club is. We have six minutes. And for the longest time, I thought that was silly. And now, I think it's just about the greatest thing that anyone could do. I 
am honored to be here to rededicate this theater to Finn Hudson. <laughs> your hard work and his memory that you managed to accomplish something unimaginable. The McKinley High School for the Performing Arts has become an overwhelming success. A model for public schools that showcase the arts now being replicated all across the country. Congratulations, Will Schuster. You and your new glee club have accomplished something quite remarkable. And now, Without further ado, it is my pleasure to introduce the new directions. Is it Quinn? I'm oh, sorry, people, I can't tell who's on stage. You got Matt? Who was the other one? Oh, that's Mike. Okay. Stop doing it so fast. Can we get a slow pass by everyone so I can see who the hell's here? God. Final season in the complete series box set, May 19th. Get music from tonight's episode now at iTunes.com slash Glee. And the beat goes on. Don't miss two whole hours of American Idol live this Wednesday. Boy, There's no trailer! It's over! It's over! It's done! Oh, my God. I'm fine. I've, I honestly thought I'd be crying a lot harder right now. I'm a little annoyed that some people, I don't know their definite futures, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, okay, obviously I got the hint that apparently Tina's with Artie, but, like, what's going on with Mercedes? What's going on with Sam? What's going on with Quinn and Puck? Yeah. Nah. We didn't really get a whole lot of Puck. No, the most Puck we got was him being an ass back in 2009. Yeah. Okay, well... That's it. I don't know. I feel like this the actual final episode was rushed. Yeah. Maybe, on, as much as I enjoyed the nostalgia of the 2009 episode, I'm kind of wondering if maybe they should have not made that episode. Or cut it pretty short. Yeah, like make it half the episode and then... I don't want to be a nitpicker, but I, I feel like I have to be. This was it. Yeah. And as much as I enjoyed it, like... I feel like there should have been more. Yeah, especially if they did, like, a five-year, like, skip. Yeah, like, I understand, then, yeah. Like, you have tell to us what happened to them. Because, yeah, I get Where it. Rachel, at? their lives. Kurt and Blaine. Yeah, I understand that those are the main people on the show now. But I'm sorry. I'm not satisfied with knowing that, okay, St. Barry's together, great. Blaine's still together, and Rachel's having the baby, great. But what's happening with... Tina and Artie, what's happening with Sam and Mercedes, and not necessarily together, but as characters, what's happening, and they didn't really even let us get excited about all the people they brought back, because we flashed past them too damn fast, and I'm like, wait, who's this, who's that, are they there, are they not there, ah, yeah, like, it's, I feel, I have a weird mix of satisfied, but not satisfied, yeah, that's how I'm feeling right now, so yeah, I am both satisfied and not satisfied with that finale. I loved 2009, but I don't feel like it needed to happen. Or at least it didn't need to be the whole episode. So. I agree. Okay.